A fossil hay from CFA. What's up, guys? We are out here on our three quarter day fossil kayaking adventure with a repeat client, Zach. And we're going to go see a really cool thing we're kicking off the trip with. He found a massive shark vertebra right up here at the high tide line. Let's go see. All right, Zach, show us where it's at. Ooh, look at that guy. That is massive. Go ahead and let's see how big that one is. Wow, and it's perfect too. Excellent find. That one's going to be from a member of the tiger or the reef shark group, the Carcharhiniformes order. Nicely done. All right. So Zach just walked up with this and said, hey, look at this cool tooth I just found. And on, you know, Initial glance, you might think, okay, this is a giant thresher tooth from Alopius grandis. But if you look right here at this corner, you can see there's a little cusp split there. This is from the quote unquote cusped giant thresher, Trigonotodus alteri. Uh, this is, I've only ever found one. Um, and you've got a pretty, pretty sizable one here in good condition. Uh, and just missing a little root lobe. So that that is rarer than a Benedini, it's rarer than a Meg. Um, I dare say this might be one of the rarest teeth we can find in the low country. So that that's a trip maker right there, for sure. Great find. All right, so here's a lesson in looking for shapes and not uh, color at times. While this is a colorful tooth, it is not a black or blue-gray tooth that we would normally see from a site like this. If you haven't spotted it by now, it is right there. Look at the colors on this one. This is from that extinct great white Carcharodon hastalis. It has red, orange, blue, green, yellow. I mean, this thing is like a, a galaxy or something going on in there. That is gorgeous. That's probably the most colorful tooth I've ever seen out here. All right, guys, here's something cool. If you weren't looking for things other than triangles, you might have missed this one. It looks uh, honestly like a piece of this cord grass, big long straight looking stick, but this is actually a front tooth from a type of dolphin called a Ypatiid. They have these really long skinny teeth that project out of the front of their skull. Scientists are still not sure why they have these skinny teeth. Is it for mating? Is it for defending uh, your home turf or battling other males? Or is it just a show? So, pretty neat little find. Let's see if there's any more out here. Well, the tide is uncovering them right now. Look at this, a little posterior tooth from hmm, someone probably like Chubby Tensis or Angustidens. These are really cool to find. It's shaping out to be a really nice day. So check this out. We got a pair of mating horseshoe crabs coming up on the beach to lay eggs. That is really cool. It's the first time I've ever seen one on the beach like this. They're going to lay about uh, gosh, thousands, about 80,000 eggs in the sand. And of those, one in a thousand make it to adulthood. That's incredible. So Zach just walked up with this one. This is a really nice mako tooth, probably from uh, Isurus oxyrhynchus. Yeah, that's good. Good detail on that one. This one might not be a fossil but it's still a really cool one. This is a lower uh, molar, early molar, or late premolar from a cow. So a uh, bovid, very similar to 
the bison teeth that we will find from the Pleistocene. Much smaller though, but some pretty good comparative material there. Needs a little treating when it gets back home. Uh, some of that root is already starting to split. The bone is pretty fragile. So I'll treat that with a consolidant called Vinac. It is a basically plastic beads that you dissolve in acetone and it's what museum preparators use to conserve uh, dinosaur bone and other fossils as well. Well, keeping in the vein of things that aren't fossils, literally two seconds after finding that cow tooth, looked over and spotted this. This is a section of a pipe stem, a nearly complete one. I am admittedly not an archaeologist or a cultural historian, so I don't know much about pipes. If anyone can provide an identification, I know the bowl isn't there, but maybe there's some feature like this uh, little prop right there that you can help provide an ID. I would appreciate it. Leave it in the comments below if you know what type of pipe this would have belonged to, maybe the age. Obviously, I'm guessing at least early 1900s, late 1800s maybe, so we'll see. That's pretty cool. All right, Zach just got a really nice vertebra, and turns out it's not just one vertebra, but two. You can see you've got both of these openings right here. And on that side illustrates it really well. So these are actually articulated and associated. So pretty cool find. We don't see that too often, especially along shorelines. It's an excellent find. Zach's got the lucky eye for the vertebrae today. We've got another beautiful vertebra right here from a shark. Look at that, and there's the reason why it's still together. This has the Ashley formation filled in on the uh, one side of it, and so that kept it beautifully intact. I've been waiting all day for one of these. I've found quite a few tympanic bullae today. I've gotten, in fact, uh, five, but yet to find a periodic until now. And this one is actually filled with phosphate in some of those canals, so it's really hard to uh, discern it from the other phosphate pebbles, but that is one of the two ear bones from a, probably something like an agarophia dolphin. It's one of the ones with the serrated cheek teeth and a little larger in size. Well, we've relocated to a new spot, and upon stepping out of the boat, uh, Zach got a really nice angustidens, I got a lower snaggle tooth, and right there is another partial blade from an angustidens. So, we are taking advantage of 30 more minutes before low tide. Let's see what else is here. All right, two seconds after that last tooth, I saw this guy right here, I saw a very unusual fracture, and phosphate doesn't really usually do that, and pulled out this thing, and that is a massive coprolite from a crocodile. This thing is huge. Oh wow, look, you can even see, let me get it cleaned off. I'll try and zoom in on these lines in post. Uh, right there, you can see marks where a gar fish was gnawing on this. They're a coprophagous fish. But yeah, look, you've got a really flat bottom, domed top, lots of lumps, so kind of where it settled after the crocodile died. That is freaking amazing. Wow, this beats the other one that I found out out here, oh gosh, probably a couple years ago. It was maybe uh, two-thirds as large as this, and not nearly as interesting. All right. 
We've been searching all day for this tooth. I called Zach over, so let's check out his reaction when he comes and sees this one. Beautiful Angustidens. Normally the bigger ones I've seen are on that end, but this guy jumped over to this side. <laughs> yeah, let's check that guy out, see how complete he is. Oh, yeah. Yep, got both of them. Yeah, both cusplets there. Looks like a good candidate for a vinegar bath. Yeah. And that'll get the bryozoan and the barnacle scars right off. Nice. Yeah. What else did you get from that side? Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Look at that, a couple more Angustidens. That one, that that right there, that oblique shear, is not just a break that happened uh, after fossilization, that happened while this shark was alive. Oh wow. So that is actually a really cool tooth because of that. Oh nice. Yeah, uh, we get much more jagged uh, indirect breaks after it fossilizes. Like, like those right there? Yep, like those, yeah, perfect. Nice. Awesome, oh yeah. Yeah, that's an Atlantic stingray coming up to feed on feed on little crabs, shrimp, fish. It's been a good day for wildlife. Yeah, he scared me too. <laughs> um, that's just a rock, right? Uh, just the head the no, no, this one's a that's a lumbar natural. vertebra from yeah, a dolphin. Gotcha. It looks yeah. symmetrical. Sounds like it's not normal. That's right. That's good. Um, See the snaggle tooth? Yep, so there's the snaggle tooth. I'll go ahead and grab that guy. And then Angustidens is more up here. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, let's go see. Oh, shoot, yeah. Man, you wouldn't have known with what was exposed. Uh -huh. Awesome. That's a good one. Yeah. Had a good one hiding here. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Another nice Angustidens. That's why we're here. A uh, massive snaggle tooth. Oh, my gosh, look at the size of that one. That is perfect, too. All right, you're good. Wow. Yeah. Ah, oh, gorgeous. That's about as good as they get out here. Awesome. And here is kind of the best of the best from today's hunt. Some beautiful Angustidens that we got out there today. This one with the feeding damage. Really nice Makos and Sand Tigers. Here's another look at that Cusped Thresher. Beautiful find. Even with some lightning strikes from plant roots on it. Got some good Barracuda teeth. Really nice Dolphin Tooth. I don't think we caught this one on camera. This one is a little bone that has some rodent chew marks on it. That's really cool. Something out of the Ice Age, gnawing on that. Lots of great ray teeth, long toothed tigers. There's that colorful extinct great white. Great snaggle tooth shark teeth. Massive shark vertebrae, the big one from the beginning. Other great ones. There's the fused vertebrae. Really nice billfish vertebra from our second site. Big baleen whale ear bone. Ice age mammal tooth, tooth enamel. Section of a giant ground sloth tooth. And some dolphin verts and sea turtle shell. So great day. Right. 
You ready? Yep, yep. All right. So, uh, Zach here has some fossils from Charleston that are upwards of 30 million years old. And uh, we'll start right up here in this corner. All of these are your members of the Megalodon lineage. Most of them from that two-time predecessor, Carcharicles and Gustadons. The one I'd like to point out is this one right here, that even though it's broken, uh, the root breaks are you know, probably post-fossilization, but this oblique shear right here is one that occurred while that tooth was alive. That kind of oblique shearing of the bone is something that we see uh, on fresh bone and not on bone that has been fossilized. So that's a pretty cool find. All right, down here in this group, you've got your sand tiger shark teeth. You've got two anterior and one lateral barracuda tooth a nice lower lemon shark tooth, a couple of hammerhead shark teeth. This was your phosphate nodule that had a reef shark tooth still embedded in it. Uh, this one is probably your lifer find. Uh, this is a tooth from the cusped thresher shark uh, Trigonotodus alteri. That is a really, really nice find. You also have a tooth from the common thresher there as well. These are three mako shark teeth. We've got two of the extinct great white, Carcharodon pistalis, and one from the modern great white. A whole grouping of the extinct long tooth tiger sharks. You have a nice tooth, uh, front tooth from some type of dolphin out of either the Wipatiid, Xenorophid, um, or potentially agarophiid group. This little bone here is fairly unique in that it has gnaw marks on it from a rodent. So this is probably from the Ice Age, about 11,000 to two and a half million years old. And of course those marks also happened prior to it becoming fossil. You've got some uh, devil ray teeth, eagle ray teeth, cow nose ray teeth here as well couple of stingray spines, uh, four fish hypural bones right here, four shark coprolites, a nice big colony of fossilized bryozoan, a wintel trap snail shell, some great stein kerns of the solitary corals we can get. Uh, this one right here is from Balanophilia. And then these big long oval ones are from a species called flabellum. You also have a mineralized stick. You can even see a node there where one of the other twigs came out. You've got a lot of snaggletooth shark teeth, both uppers and lowers. Over here, you've got some great fish vertebrae and elements from the spine. Uh, this one is going to be from a barracuda. You have tail fin spines from billfish and tuna right here. Lots of shark vertebrae, including that massive one you found at the beginning. And these two that are fused together, really cool finds. Uh, some example reef shark teeth here. A dermal ossicle from a leatherback sea turtle shell. And this is the complete bone element. Two rib bones from manatees, a tympanic bulla from a baleen whale, lots of horse tooth fragments from our Ice Age horses. Other Ice Age fossils include a piece of mammoth tooth, mastodon tooth, giant ground sloth tooth from the big guy, Arimetherium, and another piece of mammoth tooth enamel right here. Got a couple of whale and dolphin lumbar vertebrae back here. A grouping of extinct loggerhead sea turtle shells and uh, some pretty nice scallop stein kerns over here. And of course your marine mammal bags down here. So excellent job.